Last week, Operation Free Sinjar was launched, and Kurdish Peshmerga fighters claimed victory in Iraq. They liberated the city from ISIL with the support of U.S.-led coalition airstrikes. Now only devastation is left behind in this deserted town. CCTV's Michel Bardaviv has our story. Sinjar, a city of ruins. Among the few left standing tall are now the proud flag of Kurdistan and the Peshmerga soldiers that liberated the area. This town was the home for Islamic State known as ISIL or Daesh for over a year, a strategic town linking Mosul and Raqqa. A graveyard to thousands of Yazidis that were killed when ISIL attacked the town in August of 2014. With the aid of U.S.-led coalition airstrikes and over 7,000 Peshmerga forces on the ground, Sinjar was declared liberated on November 13th. All that's left behind is a war-torn city, deserted. Most of its buildings are in rubble. Those still erect have no windows, ceilings or doors. Everything seems to have blown to pieces. The only cars passing by belong to security forces or medical teams. It will be a long time before life comes back to this town that was once populated with over 200,000 people. Since the Kurdistan regional government doesn't have the capacity at the moment to fully reconstruct the town, international help is necessary to provide basic services to Sinjar so that people can return. Within the walls of devastation lay the trails of ISIL. Barrels of explosive are found inside, together with the infamous black ISIL flag. As Peshmerga soldiers clear buildings, they find tunnels and walls with punched holes, indicating that ISIL members tried to avoid surveillance by traveling through buildings. Many Peshmerga soldiers are proud to have taken part in the liberation offensive. We were certain that we would be successful. We believed in ourselves and we believed in the cause we were fighting for with our leaders. We believe in God. We did not do this for the salary we got. We did it to protect the dignity of the people of Kurdistan. The city appears to be ISIL free at the moment, yet it's not possible to say when or how ISIL might retaliate. Though many Yazidi residents are eager to return, it will be a while before the streets will be considered safe and clear of ISIL traps left behind and living conditions return to normal. Michal Bardavid, CCTV News.